Hello friends, in this video, I am going to solve a question from NET 2019 December part C. So the question is about the series. So we have given N as a fixed natural number and it is a fixed natural number and the series minus 1 raised to M divided by M. Now the options are it is absolutely convergent, divergent, absolutely convergent if n is greater than 100 and convergent. So let us first see the series. So the series is m greater equal n minus 1 raised to m upon m where this n is fixed natural numbers. You can take it as 1 or 2 or something. So sorry. A minus 1 raised to m into a m where this a m is 1 by m correct so this series is uh, alternating series right this minus 1 raised to m denotes alternating series for this m is greater or equal n where this n is fixed it will not going to affect this series uh, while con uh, considering the convergence. So, this modulus of a m is 1 by m. Now, see that we have Lipnitz test for uh, to check the convergence of alternating series. So the convergence test is about we just have to take a limit of a m if it is equal to 0 and uh, the sequence a m is non-increasing. If these two conditions are satisfied then we say that the series minus 1 raised to m a m is convergent by the Lipnitz test but here we have this series as a m is equal to 1 by m correct now the limit of this series is 0 because limit a m is limit of 1 by m as m tends to infinity it goes to 0 correct so first condition is satisfied now for the second condition we know that one uh, m plus 1 is always greater than m for m is the natural for natural number m so this implies 1 upon m plus 1 is less than 1 upon m so this implies a m plus 1 is less than a m for all m and hence this implies a m is non-increasing non-increasing sequence correct hence Second, of, uh, second condition is also satisfied and hence from the Leibniz test we call it as star so from star we get that this series minus 1 raised to m a m is convergent that is um, the given series minus 1 raised to m upon m is convergent. So, fourth option is correct. Now, let us just see that it is convergent. So, it cannot diverge. So, this is a false option. Now, just remain to show that it is, is it absolutely convergent or not. So, you just take the modulus of this series. So, modulus of minus 1 raised to m upon m is just 1 by m because modulus of 
minus 1 raised to m for any m is 1 and now we clearly know that this 1 upon m diverges because since for any fixed n um, since this is just a p series with uh, p is equal to 1 so it is divergent so it will uh, so the modulus uh, you can say that it is not absolutely convergent so absolutely it is not absolutely but absolutely uh, this implies not absolutely convergent hence this is false also the this n will not affect the convergence of this series where, where we take absolutely convergence or just convergent so this is also false hence the only correct option is option 4 thank you